Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will tell you about the Benedict test and its principle and also explain you about the procedure of Benedict test through the animation. So, let's start. Benedict test is performed to detect the presence of reducing sugar in any sample. Reducing sugar, for example, glucose, fructose, lactose, maltose, etc. Glucose and fructose is monosaccharide and maltose and lactose are disaccharides. Now, let's know the procedure to perform Benedict test. So, first of all, we have to take a test tube and then add 2 ml of Benedict reagent. We have already uploaded the practical video of preparation method of Benedict reagent. Video link is given in the description box. After transferring 2 ml of the Benedict reagent into the test tube, then add 2 ml of the test solution in which we have to identify the presence of reducing sugar. Our sample is either in the solid or liquid form. And if it is in the solid form, then we have to convert it into the solution form. After transferring 2 ml of the test solution, then mix the content of the test tube. And then boil the content of the test tube in the water bath for about 2 to 3 minutes. And then observe the color changes. And if the color of the content of the test tube convert into red color or yellow color or green color, it means in our sample reducing sugar is present. Means blue color of the Benedict reagent convert into red, yellow, orange or green color precipitate in the presence of reducing sugar in our sample. And the color depends upon the concentration or you can say the amount of the reducing sugar present in our sample. If in our sample very small amount of reducing sugar is present means approximately 0.5 to 1 percent then green color precipitate formed in the test tube. If the concentration of the reducing sugar is about 1 to 1.5, then yellow color precipitate form. And if in the test solution, the concentration of the reducing sugar is about 1.5 to 2 percent, then orange color precipitate form. And if the concentration of the reducing sugar in our sample is above 2 percent, then brick red precipitate will form. Means by this Benedict test, we can approximately determine the concentration, means the amount of the reducing sugar in our sample. Means Benedict test is semi-quantitative test for the reducing sugar. Means by observing the color changes after performing this test, we can approximately determine how much amount of the reducing sugar is present in our sample. This Benedict test is especially performed to detect the presence of reducing sugar in the urine sample. Then next come to the principle of Benedict test. In the Benedict test, Benedict reagent consists of sodium citrate, sodium carbonate and copper sulphate. And if in our test solution reducing sugar is present, then it will reduce the alkaline copper sulphate present in the Benedict reagent and after the reduction of copper sulphate, it convert into the cuprous oxide. And cuprous oxide is the brick red color compound observed in the form of brick red precipitate. So, this is the principle of Benedict test. Benedict test is performed for the detection of all type of reducing sugar. So, this is all about Benedict test. Thank you very much for watching this video.